Greetings, this is astrologer Pam Younghans, and here is my North Point Astrology Journal, your guide to planetary energies for the week of August 19th to 25th, 2024. The third week of August starts off with a combination of planetary events that should have significant impact and prove to be life-changing for many of us. Starting off the festivities on Monday, August 19th, the theatrical Leo Sun squares unpredictable Uranus and then opposes the progressive Aquarius moon. The result is a dramatic full moon and an exciting and surprising climax to the lunar cycle that began on August 4th. Monday also marks the day of a challenging Jupiter-Saturn square. This aspect will be exact to the degree three times between now and June 2025. As it perfects for the first time this week, it will bring into our awareness some complex issues we'll be addressing collectively for the next 10 months. Relationships, alliances, values, and financial matters are woven into the tapestry of the challenges we will be working with during this time, since the planet Venus is in hard aspect to both Jupiter and Saturn as the two planets square off this week. Let's take a closer look at these powerful but also very different influences. August's full moon is a supermoon because it occurs when the moon is at perigee, the closest point to the Earth in its elliptical orbit around our planet. The proximity of the moon to Earth means that it will appear larger than most full moons and will also have greater impact energetically. Illumination perfects at 11.25 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on August 19th, when the moon is at 27 degrees, 15 minutes of Aquarius, and the sun is at the same degree of Leo. Full moons always ask us to find a balance between opposing qualities. In this case, the fiery Leo sun desires to live in the moment, to stand out and be honored and respected, and to experience heart connection. This is in contrast to the airy Aquarius moon's focus on the future, its independent and nonconformist nature, and its ability to be intellectually objective. While all full moons increase emotional reactivity, this one will likely be a shining example of that effect. This is due in part because it's a supermoon, and also because the Leo sun is naturally a bit theatrical. But even more significantly, the sun and moon are tightly square eccentric Uranus at the time of the lunation, forming a tension-filled T-square configuration. This T-square can be visualized as a giant letter T in the sky, with the sun and retrograde Mercury in Leo at one end of the crossbar, the Aquarius moon at the opposite end, and Uranus at the base of the stem in the apex position. The planet at the apex of a T-square is in the power seat and influences how the tension of the configuration will be released. Since sideways spinning Uranus is unstable and excitable, we anticipate that there will be a fair amount of nervous energy around the time of the full moon. Sudden events are likely to occur, initiating significant changes. People could be especially rebellious or reactionary and choose to ignore rules and regulations. There is an almost urgent need to live according to one's own truth, perhaps without concern for how one's actions will affect others. Meanwhile, the Mercury-Uranus square that is part of the T-square could manifest as disruptions in communications, networks, technology, or transportation. It will certainly activate the energies of Mercury retrograde. We will want to be very adaptable and not be too surprised if we experience something that feels like retrograde Mercury on steroids. Uranus is always something of a wild card. Like a lightning storm or an earthquake, it likes to surprise or even shock us, so defies concrete prediction. The standard astrological advice when we see highly charged Uranus involved in a full moon or in any strong aspect is to expect the unexpected. Flexibility will be key as well as the ability to be objective and to keep a higher perspective, whatever situations unfold. Jupiter and Saturn aligned for their great conjunction on December 21, 2020. Certain dreams and hopes for humanity's future were birthed at the time of that alignment in progressive Aquarius, and many envisioned it as a time when we would start to see the age of Aquarius begin to manifest. 
That date in 2020 was the start of a new 20-year synodic cycle between Jupiter and Saturn. The two planets have now traveled forward and are forming a hard square aspect with each other. This represents the first test of the validity and strength of the Aquarian ideals that were birthed at their conjunction. And yet this is not a quick quiz, but a longer-term challenge that will carry through the rest of 2024 and into the first half of 2025. Where might we see these challenges manifest? Each of us will have our unique experience based on where the two planets are transiting our natal charts and if they are strongly aspecting our natal planets. But in general, since Jupiter and Saturn are social planets, they impact the larger roles we play and the social groups we identify with. Specifically, Jupiter rules beliefs, philosophies, and religions, cultures and nationalities, morals and ethics, hope and faith. Saturn rules social structures, governments, politics and policies, social reputation and status, rules, laws, and the legal system. Based on these rulerships, we anticipate that the Jupiter-Saturn square will manifest as conflicts involving legal matters, religious doctrines, economic affairs, and social norms. Here are my brief interpretations of this week's most important planetary aspects day by day. On Monday, Venus is opposite Saturn. This aspect represents a reality check regarding indulgences, values, relationships, and financial matters. And the Sun is exactly square Uranus on Monday. Unexpected dramas require that we be very flexible and open to change. The Aquarius full moon peaks at 11.25 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Monday. Emotions are heightened and erratic behaviors are possible. And Monday is the day of the first Jupiter-Saturn square. We are aware of rules and obligations that feel like they limit our expansion. While we could view current events as setbacks, we can benefit from looking for the silver linings and realizing that there are always gifts to be found in any challenge. We may also discover eventually that delays that occur now are setting up a better timing for success. On Tuesday, Mercury is trying Eris. People may be especially blunt, direct, or forceful in their communications and their choice of words. On Wednesday, the Sun is quincunx Neptune. Situations may be confusing, or we could feel disillusioned or unclear about next steps. On Thursday, the Sun enters Virgo at 7.54 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, helping us focus on the most efficient and effective methods of achieving our goals. The Sun will be in earthy Virgo from August 22nd until the Libra equinox on September 22nd. Also on Thursday, the sun is quincunx Pluto. We may feel on edge today, and people may be critical, demanding, or controlling. And Venus is square Mars on Thursday. This aspect represents challenges in personal relationships. Conversations that we hope will bring clarity could instead take on the form of blaming and finger-pointing. On Friday, Mercury is trying Chiron but Venus is quincunx Chiron, and Mercury is sextile Mars. We feel more confident in our ability to share our creative ideas today. However, we may need to deal with hurt feelings that resulted from yesterday's insensitive comments. On Saturday, Mars is sextile Chiron. We are able to be both direct and caring in conversation today, helping clear the air and enabling fractured relationships to heal. On Sunday, Venus is quincunx Eris. Even after progress made yesterday in mending relationships, there could still be some underlying currents of discontent that need to be navigated. If your birthday is this week, introspection is vital this year as it will help you get in touch with your true needs, desires, and potentials. It is important to take your time with major decisions despite a sense of restlessness and a somewhat urgent need to do it now. Be sure to incorporate your spiritual values in your choices and actions, while also keeping in mind a sense of your larger life mission. Once you gain the clarity you need, you should have plenty of energy and confidence and just the right touch of rebelliousness needed to help you achieve your personal goals. 
This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you an insightful week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.